I'm pretty sure with her being a main questline NPC that it's not going to be too big of an issue. Level 20? Oh boy! Let's go for Stam, and we have two perks? I guess I didn't spend my points on the last level. <laughs> Did not know that. What we got to increase? So we can... Uh, we can crank up this. That'll be good. Recover twice as many arrows from dead bodies. Kind of need that, to be honest. 50% uh, stagger. I love that. Yes, power shot. I'll take that, definitely. Um, steady hand. Bow slows time. Hmm, I don't know about that. That one requires 60. We only have 52. That one requires 60. We only have 52. And I kind of don't want to take that but at the same time, I'm really, like, I run low on arrows so often that I almost need to take that. Even if it is a bad talent. I kind of want to max my archery tree out because I haven't been doing a lot of um, one-handed skill things. Oh, finally joined us, have you? Oh, that's good. That's good. That's fantastic. Don't piss off any of the Falmer, please. Especially not this one. Whew. That was close. He almost got me. It was getting close in my face. Couldn't handle it. Touching them, I'm pretty sure, would tell them that you're here. Otherwise, if you got ridiculous, crazy sneak skill, you can basically just get around all of them. Like so. Like we're doing right now. Okay, which way am I going? That way. So that's over that way? Yeah. I think we're on the right track then. A Falmer chest. Anything in here? I'll take that. Actually, I'll take all that. Why not? Magic of Potion. Oh no, Serena! <laughs> eh. Please tell me we didn't just piss off the entire Coven. We did! They're all pissed. It's all your fault. Great. Look what you did. Can I blow them off the side of the cliff? No, I can't. It's all your fault, Serena, you stupid, stupid lady. How dare you kill all these Falmer and make them all angry at us. Serena. Serena. Worst stealth ninja vampire ever. At least they know how to be freaking stealthy. Okay, what's this button do? I think I pushed it. Yeah, I pushed it already. Push button. Button is push. This isn't the way we just came from, is it? Oh, no, 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 no. No, okay. Yeah, this is the way we just came from. The quest heroes just screwed up. I know where I'm going. <sighs> At least I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going. We got like a... Wow. You... Where'd you get that Nord from? Crazy just pulling people off the street. Whatever. Okay. So push the button. Which means we need to keep going through here. 
Let's go snipe this Falmer. Having that stagger is going to be really nice for keeping stuff away from me. Yeah, this looks like about the right way. Pretty sure we're good. Um, yeah. Alright. As I was saying earlier, there are multiple ways down to Blackreach, and we're just taking the easiest way. I think this is the easiest way. Could be wrong, but as far as I remember, this is the fastest way to get down to the Black Reach. Be sure to tell me if I'm doing it wrong or if there's an easier way down that you know of personally. Let's see here. It's pretty quiet on these paths. Of course, that's to be expected. We are being super stealthy. Now here's something I don't remember. Combination lock. Hmm. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So it's not that button. Let's try this button. Try this button. What about this button? Yeah! Cool. That button's to go back. Okay. Good. Got it. Now, what do we have through here? A bunch of gears. Mmm. <clears throat> bunch of gears that are broken. So we need to get all these things working again and get all the little Falmer bones out of them. If we can do so. Yeah. I remember this. Okay. In the meantime, I think we should try to kill a few of these little Falmer. If I remember what's going to happen very correctly. Whoop! Fail. Whoop! Fail again. Who's there? I shouldn't try to walk and shoot at the same time. Is this a locked? No. Oh. Hello, Falmer! Hello, Falmer! Hello, Falmer! I'm not noticing any increase in my recovery rate of these arrows. Alright, where are you stuck at? Because I know you're stuck because you're doing that weird thing. No, maybe not. Um... That one sucked too. Maybe it's because these over here are stuck. Let's see. Rip that out. I'm a farmer! Get him! Shoot him in the face, Serena! Thank you. Okay. And then I see a gear down here that's plugged up. So, is that all the gears working now? I think it is. So with all the gears working, I should be able to press this. Oh, hi! That was unexpected. Okie dokie, then. No, actually, I think we're going to have to pull out the heavy artillery for this one. 
Come on, Serena, come back. Come back, come back, come back, come back. I need to get this one from a distance. He's gonna hurt us up close. Dwarven Centurion Guardians. And how unamused they are. One more for the win. Fear my crossbow. Okay. With that big guy out of the way. What did he drop? Elven arrows? A dynamo core? Those are valuable. I'll take that. Don't even care about the iron arrows. I've got better things. Especially now that I'm going to start looting double arrows off of everything. What's in this chest? Some more things. Staff of Fury. Dwarven Warhammer. Do I want that? Eh, I'll get rid of it if I don't need it later. Or if I get over encumbered or something. From too many magical items. Okay. Lever open. I think we're getting close now. Whoop. Okay, that looks like the way down. Before we go in there, let's do a little bit of searching around this upper room, because I probably won't have a chance later. Little bug! Kill the bug! Kill it! It's amazing how little damage you do when you're not getting in sneak attacks. Eh. There. It is dead, Serena. Stop freaking out. She's like, I can't raise this as a construct, why? Okay. So we walked in the room from this angle, right? I think I see a button over there. No, we walked in from this way. That's it. There's a gate here. Where's this gate go? That gate goes to Skyrim, so that's the way back to the surface. Okay. Um, depth chest. I can unlock that really quick. I've got the skill for this. Easy. Called arms, necklace, dwarven sword. I don't. Nah, I'll leave that in there. Screw you, little bug. What's this thing now? Glowing crystal shard. Hmm. Ah. Well, we'll be finding out what that's for later, because I think I have a pretty good idea. But we can't do anything about that for a while. Okay. See, the dwarves are supposed to be elvish, right? But they have stuff like this. And, eh. I don't know. I can't wait to see what an actual in-game dwarf looks like so we can dispel all the what do the dwarves look like mysteries. Because I know dwarves are about as tall as humans are, because they're named dwarves because the giants thought they were small or whatever, but... Don't go to the Khajiit for counsel, for they will usually be smashed out their ears. Now, they are fun at hot parties, but I didn't say that. Okay. And look at that. We're down in the Black Reach. I was right. That was the faster way down. Hmm. Okay. So, now that we're down in the Black Reach, we need to find that Elder Scroll, wherever it's at. And I think there's a sub-map for the Black Reach, which will show us pretty much where it is. Uh, but that's going to take a little while to fill in. We're going to have to do a lot of exploring down here. As you can see, this place is massive, by the way. It is huge. This is its own little, like, mini Skyrim down in here. Well, maybe not that big, but it feels like it. It 
it, it feels huge and super crazy big. There's a lot of uh, dwarven constructs down here that are dormant. They're just kind of built in. And we won't be pissing them off unless we can... Actually, that'd be a really good way to get more arrows. So I might just screw with a few of them. Let's screw with this guy. Actually, that was a horrible idea. What was I thinking? That was quite possibly one of the worst ideas I've ever had in my life. Trying to sneak up on a dwarven construct. Wow. Okay. Well, I've already gone this far with it. Let's see if we can pick him off from a distance. Like we did last time. Of course, now Serene is all up in his face. So this is going to go about as well as... At least it's a regular Dwarven Centurion instead of a greater one. Oh, it's not a Guardian, it's just the regular type. I am getting shots on him. That's good. Serena is doing a very good job of keeping him busy as well. The best thing about Dwarven Centurions are that, that they are really huge targets. It's very easy to snipe them from a distance. They aren't moving too terribly much. Of course, this one's just going to be pissed and wander around and be angry because he can't get to me because I'm on the other side of water. Apparently, that is his weakness. His weakness is also being distracted by Serena. She's doing a very good job right now. And kill shot. Was that worth the cost of all those arrows? No. Not at all. But it was fun. I'll give I'll give it that. It was fun. Grand Soul Gym. Eh, that kind of covers my losses. Okay. Let me think here. We need to go this way. Right? That's where the map says to go. Yeah, I think so. So let's get ourselves going and head over towards where we need to go. <laughs> In the massive Black Reach. Oh, it's so pretty, though. So, so pretty down here. You get that feeling like you're stuck in a cave at the bottom of the world. Because you are. You are stuck in a cave at the bottom of the world. That's the point. <laughs> uh, was a dumb joke. Was that even a joke? It wasn't really even a joke. I don't know what I'm saying. Ugh. Okay. I think this might be our one-stop shop for all things Elder Scroll. Coming up here on the left. does have the arrow on it. Open the door. Tower of Mazark. Yep, that's it. Come with me if you want to live! You also get the feeling that this place is centuries old. Look at all the Dweamer gyros. If only, if only I'd bothered to come down here before I had to do that quest. It wouldn't have been an issue. I'll grab a few of these ingredients just for funsies. Well. This is a thing. Looks very familiar. 
This sort of reminds me of the giant prison from that one episode of Doctor Who. The, uh... The, uh... I can't remember the name of it. can't remember the name of the giant prison at all. Mm. Okay. Activate this. Stand up. Now, let's get this Elder Scroll going. Can I push buttons? Whoop! That seemed to do something. We need to angle all the plates upon themselves, I think. What in the world? That's not right. Okay, so the only two buttons we can press right here. Oh. Wait a minute. Okay, we gotta leave that in there. Okay, that's good. We need that. Let's angle this thing. So this is just spinning it. Right? Okay. That one spins it that way. This one spins it backwards. So, okay, these two things do exactly the same deal. I think. What? It no work now. Whoa. It's glowy. Why is it glowy? Oh, now I can press these. Holy crap! I don't even know what this means, what it's doing. Um, push again. Whoa! Okay. What the... Poopsmith? Okay! The awesome things of pressing random buttons. Okay, great. Well, lexicon's inscribed, whatever that means. And now, we can take our fresh Elder Scroll. That's it. That's oh, it is? Scroll. Come on, let's take it. So it's the same, okay. So the main quest and the Dawn Guard quest use the same scroll. That explains it. Okay, so it's cool. It's, it's good. All right, that makes sense then. I was pretty confused until I had that little tidbit of information. First thing though, I kind of want to take Mr. Dude his lexicon back because, well, that's the nice thing to do. He was like super helpful in getting us to where the Elder Scroll was, so it'd be kind of mean to just screw him over. Yeah. So let's go map. Let's go world map. And let's go back. And talk to Mr. Dude. Pony, how the hell did you get out of here? Meh. Mistress Optimus! Blip! Dig, Dwemer, in. There you go. Quickly. Extraordinary. I see it now. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick! Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. 
The elves still living provide the key. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. Okay. Why are you so eager to open the box? Ah, the box contains the heart. Ah, the essence of a god. I have devoted my life to the Elder Scrolls, but their knowledge is a passing awareness when compared to the encompassing mind of divinity. The Dwemer were the last to touch it. It was thought to have been destroyed by the Neververine, but my lord told The Neverververine. I know who that is. The Daedric Prince of the Unknown, Hermaeus Mora. I thought there were no secrets left to know until I first spoke to him. He asked surprise to work his will. A few murders, some dissent spread, a plague or two, for the secrets I can endure. In time, he brought me here to the box. But he won't reveal how to open it. Maddening. Okay. I'm okay with the dark. Okay, so that's actually a danger quest. Got it. Whoa, what the hell? Oop. Oops. So, okay. That's, that's another side quest we'll just have to do later. Come Whoa, what? Closer. Bad. In my presence. Ah, uh, who are you? I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching you. Creepzoid. Um. Most important. Thanks. What do you want to me? Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say? Well, I do like to not make the Daedric Lords angry at me, so I'll be your best buddy. Indeed. Speak with me when the box has been opened. And all shall be revealed. Great. Well. Okay. So. Ugh. Mm. Speaking of side quests. We might do that later. I don't know. I've got. Now I've got two things that I might put in as bonus content. Going back to the Soul Cairn and playing with that boss and that guy that we just met. Even though he's not part of Dawn Guard, he's part of something else. Whatever. Just whatever. 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 We'll figure, figure it out later. Anyway. So, let's go get these scrolls looked at, shall we? Okie dokie. So we're back at Fort Dungard, and we gotta find Mr. Dude, who can decipher this Elder Scroll mess for us. Guess he's upstairs, doesn't he? He probably would be. Hmm? I wonder what renovations they made to the place since we've been gone. Didn't notice anything straight up hand, but they might tell us what's new later. Hello? Howdy. 
I trust your journey was successful. Oh, it was. Uh, I brought the Elder Scrolls. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be. Are you kidding me? Matter. Why? What's happened? It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. So that covering on your eyes means you're probably actually blind now. Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. Uh, so can I do anything to help you? No, it will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. <laughs> then I guess we're screwed. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's... Well, we need to stop the oncoming nastiness, so what do I need to do? I can't guarantee you'll be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. Oh, don't even... Oh, no. <sighs> Go ahead and tell me. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim, in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Explain the ritual. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. Okay, so carefully gather the bark, how? In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every Moth Priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. So, do I need to read the scrolls in any particular order? From what I saw in the vision, Serena quit the scroll it. which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Okay. Okay. So, wait. Tell me what went wrong with you first. Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like... Woman, I'm simple. going to punch you in the face. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll. And even then, months to recover. Okay. Well, that's the problem then. Good luck. I hope you find So apparently Dexton can't do it for us because he actually accidentally blinded himself by reading the scroll from earlier. So instead we're going to have to take it upon ourselves to do the reading by performing the ritual to become an ancestor moth, as far as I know. That appears to be the long and the short of it anyway. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one Give me the money. 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 Sure, some booze. I hope we reach Ancestor Glade soon. We will. We will. But it'll have to be when we come back, guys. Been a good little crazy visit to uh, the Black Reach. Wasn't expecting to have to do that. But um, I was hoping to cover that in my playthrough of the main quest. And hopefully next time we'll have something that's completely unique and new, and stuff like that. But until then, Serena says bye! She loves you. Love you. Love.